So apparently Canon just released a new app called the EOS Webcam Utility app. It's still in beta and there are only a couple of issues. The first one, it's only available on Windows. Mac users are going to wait for a future update and a future release of the app. That's already an issue. And the second one is that it's only available in the US because the rest of the world doesn't need a webcam. I disagree. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your Canon M50 or any other Canon camera into a webcam using a Mac, two apps and a USB cable. All you need is this little USB cable. It's a micro USB cable. It didn't come with the Canon M50, I think. I don't remember what was in the box, but uh, you probably have one micro USB cable somewhere at home, or if you don't, well, you can simply order one online. Now, the two apps that you will need is Camera Live and Cam Twist. I will put a link to these two apps in the description, and I'm going to show you now how all this thing works. It's pretty basic, it's very simple, and you don't have to worry, it's not rocket science. First thing you're gonna do is go and look after Camera Live. Like I said, I will put a link in the description. You go to release and you download the 13 release. You're gonna have a zip file containing the app. You unzip it and it, you install it. The other app that you will need is Cam Twist. So you are going to look at Cam Twist on the internet. It's camtwiststudio.com. You click on the download button, you download it. And again, you're gonna have a zip file that you are going to unzip and install. Once it's done, once you have installed both of the apps, you're gonna launch Camera Live, and you're gonna have this little window here telling that you have no camera linked. That's where your USB cable comes in. You're gonna take your Canon M50. On the side, you have this little door here that you open, which has the HDMI and USB plugs. You take your micro USB, you plug it in and the other one you're gonna plug into your laptop or your iMac or your USB hub. That's what I'm doing here. So now you turn on your camera. EOS utility is going to pop up. Uh, you can quit it. And as you can see, you have your camera live that is active and the EOS M50 is selected. The next thing that you are going to do is that you are going to open Cam Twist, and then when Cam Twist is open, you're gonna select Siphon, and here on the bottom, you click on Select, and in the Siphon server, you are going to select Camera Live. Once the camera is connected to Cam Twist and Camera Live, it means that it takes the image from the camera through USB to your laptop. Uh, it works with Skype, it works with Zoom, but not the latest version, the previous version. They have a link to the previous version on their website. It works with OBS, if you like to live stream or if you want to use it for Twitch, for example, you can do it also. So we are going to see in Zoom and in OBS. Let's launch Zoom. I'm launching Zoom here. I'm going to the preferences in video and as you can see in camera cam twist is already selected so now if I take my Canon M50 and point it at me you can see that I'm using the Canon M50 as a webcam I can zoom uh, I can also benefit from the dual pixel autofocus if I take my blower in fact here Hop is gonna focus, put it on a gorilla pod on your desk and you're all set up. I'm gonna show you now how to use it in OBS. It's pretty much the same. Let's launch OBS. 
So now uh, we have OBS open, you're gonna go into the source little window here and hit the plus button. You're gonna select the Siphon client and we're gonna call it M50. And I'm gonna hit OK. In the source, I'm gonna select Camera Live Canon M50. And as you can see, I have my Canon M50 into OBS. All I have to do is to click OK. And if now I want to, for example, do a live stream while I'm editing or playing, I can also hit the plus sign and use window capture. Uh, window capture is gonna be okay. Here in the window, I'm gonna select, for example, my Adobe Premiere. And as you can see, I have my window of Adobe Premiere. And now I have just to drag this one below and here I just shrink it a bit. I select my window and I make it right. And that's it. I can now edit um, while I'm streaming and you can present stuff uh, for example, to your colleagues or during a live stream on YouTube or on Twitch and it works. It's simple. It's pretty basic. There is no little trick and there is no hardware except a USB cable. Uh, there is one thing that you need to keep in mind. It's the battery life and to prevent this, I would recommend to use this. It's a dummy battery. Um, you have a little hole in here where you can plug an AC adapter in it. So you're gonna take your Canon M50, you open the battery door, you put your dummy battery in it and you have this little rubber door here that you are going to lift and turn and then you put the AC adapter directly in it. On the other side, you have a USB connector that you can plug into your battery pack or into your phone charger. You simply plug the USB into your phone charger into a plug and that's it. You don't have to worry about the battery life, etc. And so it's, it's pretty convenient. I'll also put a link in the description for the dummy battery. So that's it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can go to the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer all of your fancy questions. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to push me to release more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And until next time, see ya.